whose work is baptism anyway? There's really two options. Either baptism is something that we do for ourselves or somebody else does for us on a purely human level, or it's something that God does for us. Well, let's hear what St. Paul has to say. St. Paul writes in Galatians chapter 3, verse 27, For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. This is a passive construction. Now I know, nobody likes grammar lessons, but it's important here, and it matters quite a bit for how we understand baptism. You see, we Americans don't like passives. Passives are verbs that act on the subject of the sentence. So if I say, I am baptized, I am the one who has been baptized. If I say, I baptize, which is active, well, then I'm the one doing the baptism. But notice how Paul puts it. In the Greek, as with the English, is as many of you as were baptized. The subject of the sentence, the many, well, they were baptized. And it's not an action that they're responsible for. It was something that was done to them. So the question then is, who does it? Well, 1 Peter 3.21 reminds us that baptism saves. And if baptism saves, then it cannot be the act of human beings because salvation comes not from man in all his sins, but from God himself in the God-man, Jesus Christ. This is what we call a theological passive. It is an action of God done to us that we receive without any action on our part. Faith works the same way. Baptism is something that is done to us by God, and all we are to do is simply trust and receive what baptism gives. It is God's act that makes baptism baptism, not our own. This is why we use the baptismal formula in our churches. The pastor stands up and he says, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, he doesn't say that because he's trying to make a big show out of himself, but to emphasize that the person being baptized, whether a child or an adult, is not there doing it for themselves, that there's another actor that's doing it to them. Now, the person of the pastor operates here in the same capacity as when Jesus told the apostles to go and baptize the whole world at the end of Matthew. When Jesus said, baptize all nations and make them disciples, he was telling the apostles as his ambassadors to go out and do something on his behalf. And when they baptized people, they were doing the work of Christ because Christ their Lord had commanded it. Well, the same thing happens today when the pastor baptizes or any Christian in an emergency. The work being done is ultimately Christ's because everything in the church is done on his behalf and for him who is our Lord and King. And so when baptism is applied to a person, it is not the water, the hand of the sinful man that delivers the baptism. It's not these things in and of themselves that does it. It is the divine power of God's own word that delivers through that water, that gives us life and salvation. You see, baptism is not a simple work done in obedience. It's not an ordinance of the church. It is a sacrament, something that God does for us to give us life and salvation in a way that we can know and see and appreciate. A place that takes time, 